Complements of Numbers Complements of numbers are used in digital computer to simplify the subtraction operation. Simplifying the subtraction operation leads to build a simpler, less expensive digital circuits to perform the operation very easily. For base R system, there are two types of complements, radius complement and diminished radius complement. Radius complement is referred as R's complement. Diminished radius complement is referred as R minus 1's complement. In a decimal number system, the base is 10. So the R's complement is referred as 10's complement and R minus 1 complement is referred as 9's complement. In a binary number system, the base is 2. So the R's complement is 2's complement and R minus 1's complement is referred as 1's complement. For an octal number system, the base is 8. So the R's complement will be 8's complement and the R minus 1 complement is referred as 7's complement. In a hexadecimal number system, the base is 16. So the R's complement is 16's complement and the R minus 1's complement is referred as 15's complement. Diminished radius complement is also called the R minus 1's complement. So now we are going to learn the formulas to find the R minus 1 complement of the numbers in different number system. So this is the first formula. So here the formula is to find the r minus 1 complement of a number n is r to the power of n minus r to the power of minus m minus n. So here, if the number n has both the integer and fraction part, then we use this formula. So here, n is the given number and the number should have both the integer and the fraction part. So r is the base. r is the base of the number or the radix and n is the number of digits in the integer part of the number and m is the number of digits in the fraction part of the number. So if the number has both the integer and fraction part, we use this. The next one is if the number has only the integer part there is no fraction part and only the integer part is present then we use this formula this formula is derived from the first formula let's see how this formula is derived so and since this formula uh, does, since this formula is used if the number does not have the fraction part so here in this number if since there is no fraction part means the number of digits in the fraction part you should make it as 0 so here r to the power of 0 so r to the power of 0 is 1 so it will be r to the power of 0 if there is no uh, numbers in the fraction part so this r to the power of 0 uh, will be 1 Next, the third formula. This formula is used when there is only fraction part. There is no integer part. There is only fraction part is available in the number. So that time, so here, what happened? This also derived from the main formula, this one. So here, what happened since there is no integer part, the number of digits in the integer part of the number becomes 0 so r to the power of 0 so when r to the power of 0 is 1 so 1 minus r to the power of minus m minus n so this is the formula if there is no integer part only fraction part is available so the main formula is this so from this formula only we are getting the other two sub formulas so if you remember this you can do proceed with uh, finding the r minus 1 complement 
radius complement is also called the as complement to find the as complement of a number n the formula is r power n minus n here n is the given number r is the base or the radius and n is the number of digits in the integer part of the number so let me explain with an example so consider example number 629 and it's a base 10 so this can be substituted in the formula like so the r the radius is 10 so the base is 10 so 10 to the power of and the n is the number of digits in the integer part of the number so here this number has only the integer part there is no fraction part in this number so the number of digit is 1 2 3 3 is the number of digit so 10 to the power of 3 minus n the number 6 20 so this is way this is the way you substitute in the formula consider another one example 0.784 and this is also based in number and you are going to now substitute so this number has only the fraction part there is no integer part so you write the base is 10 so n is the number of digit in the integer part in this number there is no integer part only fraction part is there so since there is no integer part so the n becomes 0 minus 0.784 so this is the way you do it suppose another one example Four thousand seven hundred and thirty-one point two four. Based on, so let's write this. So here the base is ten, and and the n is the number of digit in the integer part. So here the number of digit in the integer part is one, two, three, four. so here we should not consider the fraction part only the integer part of the number uh, the digits in the integer part we should take so here the number of digit is 4 minus write the number 7 so this is this is n this is the the capital n the given number and uh, base and this is the small and the number of digits in the integer part so this is the way you solve the problem next also there is a another method to find the as complement and the method is first you have to find the r minus 1 complement of the number and then you have to add 1 to that so r minus 1 complement we have already discussed so in that way in that method you will solve the problem and find the r minus 1's complement then add 1 to 1 to that number so here this one should be added only to the least significant bit suppose if the r minus 1 complement you have found the uh, r minus 1 complement as 70 this is the R minus one complement. Consider, for example, this is the R minus one complement. So you now you to find the R's complement, you have to add one to this. So seven four plus one. So it will be seven thirty-five is the answer. suppose for example if you have a number so this consider this is the r minus 1's complement 
so to find as complement you're adding one so where should we add one should we add one here or here so the correct thing is to add one to the this in this place so you should add one in the least significant bit if you have the both the integer and fraction part in the fraction part the least significant bit of the fraction part you should add the one so it will be four two point six three four so this is the as complement so if there is only the integer part then you can add in the uh, least significant uh, one should be added to the least significant bit of the integer part if there is a fraction uh, as well as integer part both are present then the one should be added to the uh, fraction uh, least significant bit of the fraction part 